Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be talking about Input Analyzer, uh, which is a built-in tool that you can find inside Arena software that you could be using to uh, build the probability distribution for your collected data for various parameters for say arrival time, for service time, for transfer time. So far we have built models and we have focused on logical aspects, but in this video I'll be talking about quantitative aspects of modeling. So structural modeling is where we talk about logical aspects, how entities are moving into the system, what is our resources, what path entities are following and so on. When we are talking about quantitative modeling, we are talking about the numerical input that we are giving from what kind of distribution our data are getting generated. For say, we usually use uh, time between arrival uh, as exponentially distributed with a certain mean and so on. So how we can say that it's exponentially distributed? So we have to collect data and then we have to fit the right distribution so that the validation of our model is um, intact. And we have to ensure that our model is a true representation of the system that we are modeling. All right. So like structural modeling, we also, for quantitative modeling, we also need to observe the system and take data if possible. So data can be divided into two two um, major categories, either it's deterministic or it's random. So deterministic uh, inputs or data are which that are not random, they're fixed, let's say parameters. Let's say for a drilling press, how many drilling press uh, uh, fa facility has and so on. So these are like inputs. So in the airport model we built, we said like we have five agents and so on. So those are input sites, they're deterministic, they're fixed. You can change with different configuration to see how uh, various uh, output statistics varies with the change in number of this uh, deterministic input. However, in here, I just want to mention that these are like in fixed inputs to our system. And some inputs are random and most of it, what we input is random. Why? because uh, we want to generate the some uh, input statistics, let's say arrival time, process time, transfer time, based on certain kind of probability distribution. So when we take a realization for each entity to assign a particular um, input for it, we want to use probability distribution and that's why we need input analyzer. So we'll collect data and then we'll try to fit a distribution. And then from that fitted distribution with certain parameters, we will generate a random variable for each entity to assign service time, interval time, transfer time, and so on. So we have to find what distribution does a particular set of data fits. What are the parameters? And one more thing we have to keep in mind, we are in, we in, on, from our, uh, in the input side, we're inputting a distribution. So the output needs to be also statistically tested before we can assume that, okay, so this is my input, this is, my mo mo this is how my model will run. And based on this, after the stat output statistical analysis, I can say, okay, um, this model is valid and I have done my statistical analysis on the output side. So I can conclude a uh, valid conclusion about the model, that uh, about the system that I'm modeling. So collecting data is generally hard, expensive, frustrating and boring. And it might be completely impossible if the system doesn't exist, maybe. Maybe you don't have a, you just need to uh, go and collect data from a system that might work similarly 
concept similar similarly with the system that you want to model they, or maybe the data is available on wrong things might have to change model according to what's available maybe you need to uh, change your logical design of the model sometimes you need to clean the data or sometimes there may be too much data that you don't need so collecting data is hard and you need to know how long you have to collect data and how you're going to fit it sensitivity of output to uncertainty in input that i talked last time match model details to quality of data so whatever data is available my logical uh, modeling should follow this let's say uh, I, I have built a real representation of a system and now i don't have adequate data so it will hamper the validation and validation of my model so i have to keep in mind what i have in my hand while i'm building the logical model and then cost should be budgeted in project so data collection is also an activity which will incur cost so keep that in mind then you have to also capture the variability in data because it will hamper model validation we'll do that later and there is a famous uh, sentence in simulation that is if you have bad data if you don't have the right data it's like you are inputting garbage and then you input like you entered garbage into your logical entity so the output you'll be getting is will be also garbage so keep that in mind that data collection and fitting it to a right distribution is really important so you might think that why we need to fit it to a probability distribution after data collection why we need it we could use the data directly into the simulation uh, so read actual observed values to drive the model input we can use read and write module from advanced process panel to do this however there are some uh, difficulties associated with it what are those uh, you can never go outside your obje observed data. It depends on how long you have collected your data. Maybe at that time frame, maybe some event didn't occur that usually occurs. So you are missing those part. But if you fit it through a probability distribution, you'll have you'll have an opportunity, a probability of getting different realization that might happen. Or the other way around, you might get some realization which might never get realized in the real system. So it's a problem, both way problem. However, uh, over here it says one more good thing about directly using the data to run your simulation model is that all the values would be legal and realistic. However, they, you may not have enough data for long or many runs computationally it's slow so this one the last one is really important so if you have a large model if you have a big model then computationally reading all the data from a file will make your simulation slower so you have to keep that in mind so what is the other option you can fit it to a probability distribution draw or generate synthetic observation from this distribution to drive the model input. So you can fit your data to a particular distribution and then generate um, observation from it. We have done it so far in this way. Uh, we have used uh, triangular distribution, exponential distribution, gamma distribution, and so on for, uh, for uh, inputting different kinds of parameters or different kinds of uh, variables into our model can go beyond observed data, which is good and bad. Why? Maybe it will generate some unrealistic values. So that makes a question. So may not get a good fit to the data. If you don't get a good fit to your data, then your model validity will get hampered. So you have to be very cautious when you are fitting your data to a distribution. And maybe you are just making a decision that I will run it directly using the data or I'll fit it to a distribution. 
it depends on the scope of your study or what you really want to know about the system using simulation. Treating a distribution data to data with ARENA input analyzer. So we can use different softwares like R, MATLAB, or any other programming language. However, ARENA has an inbuilt uh, tool that is known as ARENA Input Analyzer, which is really simple to use. And you can directly input your uh, data as text file or CSV file to it, and then it will generate um, the best, and, and then you can fit all the distribution uh, it has. It has around 12 distribution, I think. So you can fit all of them, and then it will uh, give you the name of the best fitted distribution. So assume, assume, so before fitting, you have to assume a couple of things. That your sample data is independent and identically distributed. So you have to make sure that they are IID. There are other tests like autocorrelation test or independence test. You can do that before you use the ARENA input analyzer. And you want to select or fit a probability distribution for use in generating inputs for the simulation model. So you have to keep in mind what kind of probability distribution you want to fit in. ARENA input analyzer, it's a separate application. You can access it via tool menu in ARENA. You can fit distribution as ARENA gives valid ARENA expression for generation to paste directly into a simulation model. So we'll see that in the later part of this video. So fitting is deciding on distribution from deciding from diff, like various distribution and estimating its parameter. So the best thing is there are different ways to estimate parameters like you can use likelihood method, moment matching method, least square method, and so on. However, ARENA does it for us, so we don't need to estimate the parameter as well. So when it's proposing that, yeah, this data fits, that's exponential distribution, it's gonna give us the mean automatically. So over here, we need to have a hypothesis. Let's say our null hypothesis would be that the fitted distribution adequately represents the data. So we'll see ARENA will report two test statistics, KS test and chi-square test for validating the goodness of fit for a data to a distribution. So in that case, our null hypothesis would be that the best fitted distribution or the fitted distribution is adequately representing our data. So in that case, the p-value needs to be larger to valid our null hypothesis. If the p-value is smaller, then it's not a good fit to our data. So we'll have two tests, KS test and chi-square test. Sometimes they, you might have a higher p-value for chi-square test and a lower p-value for KS test. In that case, you have to, the best way you can do is you can fit your data to an empirical distribution. We'll see that later in ARENA interface. Maybe none of the theoretical uh, distribution that is available in ARENA input analyzer is a good fit to your data. So what ARENA does is just creates a histogram and then divides the data to different class, with, uh, different, uh, class intervals. And then you can just copy the expression for the empirical distribution. And it depends if it's a discrete We'll just copy one part. If it's continuous, you can copy the other part. And then you just paste it into your um, create module or process module, wherever you are using it inside the logical uh, model. So data can be continuous and discrete, we all know. And then the best fit among several distribution will be given to you. Best fit. So the best fitted distribution would be based on the value of Minimum least, least square value, we'll see that. So what to do? You have to create the data file. So you, you may collect your data in a Word file or in an Excel file or whatever file. You have to make sure that the file format is ASCII text. And then the values are separated by a white blank space. So then you have to open a new file and so on. So instead of reading it from here, 
I want to show you the functionality of this software. So I, of this tool, not software. So I'll go to Arena, double click here, and then I'll click OK. And then I'll have Tools tab here. So here it says Input Analyzer. I'll click here. Next, I'll go ahead and click New. So this opens a new file. I'll go and save this file wherever I want. And it doesn't need to be in the same folder where you have your original model for which you are using Input Analyzer for. It can be anywhere. So I'll just save it here and say name this as example. And the extension for this file is .dft. And then I'll hit save. And then I'll go to file one more time. And over here,